Welcome back, my friends. Today we're talking about relative motion with translating axis, okay? Last time we talked about relative motion, uh, when we had the pulley system, one thing moving up and how it moved dependent to the other thing. Uh, we're talking about relative motion. This is, this is a little bit different. We're talking about like, um, let's say you're in the car, right? And another car comes by and you look out your window and you see a little kid coming by in a, a little kid. He's in the front seat of the car next to you. And hopefully I'm driving. And you're like, oh, they're moving not very fast relative to me. They look like they're maybe moving two miles an hour faster than I am. That's relative motion. Whereas if I'm driving along and someone's coming the other way and they just go real fast, relative to me, like in Spain, right, the high speed train, you're going along, it's 150 miles an hour, and then the train comes the other way 150 miles an hour, and it's just like, whoa, 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 it's gone right out the window, right? So relative to me, that train was going. 300 miles an hour is my speed plus his speed, right? And so we're talking about how things look uh, relative one relative to the other, okay? So we've got some equations, some new equations, and these are kind of the relative uh, motion equations, okay? So you've got like the relative positions, like, the, and the way you read this is here is position um, B, with respect, or, and here's A, and here's B with respect to A. So the way you read this is, this is the velocity of B. The velocity of B is equal to the velocity of A plus the velocity of B with respect to A. And notice all these are the same way. B, uh, the acceleration of A is, is equal to the, or B is equal to the acceleration of A plus the acceleration of B with respect to A. And one way I remember this is this, um, you know, this number over here equals the other one plus, and then these are in order, right? B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A. So if the problem asked me what is A with respect to B, I'd have the same equation except this would be A and that would be B, right? So I just move them over there. And the only thing to do, uh, be careful about there, is just the signs for direction, okay? So let's look at a problem that works something like this. So here's an example of, a, of a two cars. I've got one car that's on the highway. He's headed in that direction. Let's just put a little, um, let's put a little arrow here. So he's headed in maybe in this direction. And this car is headed in this direction. Now remember, his velocity is tangential to the path, remember? And acceleration is tangential. And then it also has a normal component of the acceleration, which is going towards the middle of the radius of curvature. Okay, so this is kind of, we're using some of the, the, the things we had from our last lesson. So at the instance shown, uh, car A, which is here, the blue car, has a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, so that's velocity. So we'll just put that there. Velocity equals 20 kilometers per hour. Um, which is being increased at a rate of 300 uh, kilometers per hour. So it is a positive acceleration, right? So his, we'll just put a little a equals, what was it? 300 kilometers per hour. Ooh, squared for acceleration, right? Now, this guy also has a component here, right, which would be that normal component of acceleration. This is the tangential, like I said, that's usually given. The normal we're gonna to have to calculate. And remember, there's our equation for calculating. It's the velocity squared divided by rho. And uh, there's, the, there's the velocity and there's rho right there. So we'll do that in just a second. Let's say uh, as, the, as the car enters the expressway, at the same time or the same instant, car B is, ex is decelerating. So this guy over here, he's moving in this direction, but his acceleration, um, his acceleration is like this way though, isn't it? Acceleration is equal to 250 kilometers per hour squared, right? So he's decelerating um, while traveling forward at 100 kilometers per hour. So his V is 100 100 kilometers per hour, okay? Now here's another thing that's very important on these problems, is pick yourself 
kind of a, a, a coordinate system here. And, and I think that I, if we just stick with our regular, what we know, right? Is like if I have this, right? Here's my X, here's my Y. We're gonna call this the positive direction for the Y, this is the positive direction for the X, and then of course negative down here and negative over there, right? So all of my velocities and everything, the accelerations that I'm going to plug into these equations, I'm going to make sure that my signs agree with our just regular, you know, uh, Cartesian coordinate uh, convention there. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. It asks us find the velocity and the acceleration of A with respect to B. Okay, so A with respect to B. Now I wrote this over here with B with respect to A. So let's we'll change that around. So let's do that first. The velocity of A is equal to the velocity of B plus the velocity of A with respect to B, right? A, B, A, B, okay? And that's what they want, A with respect to B. So what do I know here in this equation? Let's see, the velocity of A, here's car A. The velocity is in the, we'll call it the negative direction. So let's call it negative 20 kilometers per hour. is equal to the velocity of b. The velocity of b is going in the positive direction, so we'll call him 100 kilometers per hour, and then plus velocity of a with respect to b, okay? So we move this to the other side, and you can see if I got these signs wrong, the whole thing's gonna be wrong, so it's, that's important, right? So the velocity of a with respect to b is equal to, move this to the other side, minus 120 kilometers per hour, okay? Or we could say velocity of A with respect to B is 120 kilometers per hour in that direction there. So if you're in car A um, and you're looking at car B, that's what you would see is, is, is a closing or, or a velocity of, of uh, 120 kilometers per hour in that direction, okay? That was pretty easy. So that was velocity. Now let's see if we can do acceleration. This is a little bit different, right? Because acceleration is gonna have two components. It's gonna have more than one component. And I think no matter, now this one is perfectly out here kind of on the uh, x-axis. If I'm at some other point, I'm gonna have to break it into components, but that's pretty easy to do. We're good at breaking things into components by, by now, right? So here we go, let's talk about this guy here. He has two components. He has one acceleration component here, and he's got one there. Let's, let's calculate A in, okay? So A normal is equal to what? Here we go over here. The velocity squared, which is 20, right? 20 kilometers per hour, and I'm gonna square that, divided by rho. Now this is in kilometers, now here's a trick, right? Don't fall for this. Look at that, that's in meters. So we're gonna need to get that in kilometers so all that divides out correctly, right? So let's just, uh, let's see, 100 meters is what? 0.1 kilometers. And so that equals, uh, let's see, 400 divided by 0.1, three zeros, um, 4,000 uh, kilometers per hour squared. Okay, so that is my normal acceleration, okay? So, what do we have here on the card? We have this. This is 4,000. So, the acceleration of of car A is this. Now we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing with A respect to B. So we're gonna rewrite this equation. Okay. So here we go. Um, the acceleration of A equals acceleration of B plus acceleration A with respect to B. A B A B. And so let's see. Car A. What is what is the acceleration of car A? Here it goes. In the I hat direction, right? This is I hat, this is J hat, right? In the I hat direction, I've got negative 4,000. So negative 
4,000 I hat kilometers per hour squared. And then I've got, what's my J hat, right? Negative 300 kilometers per hour squared. Uh, this is J hat, right? Let's just, let's write it like that. Let's put a J there. And then we can put the whole thing as kilometers per hour squared per hour squared is equal to, so that was, that's the acceleration of car A. There's two components. Now let's go over to car B. What's car B's acceleration? Now car B is traveling in this direction, but it's accelerating in the negative direction, right? He's decelerating actually at 250. So we can call this guy negative 250 kilometers per hour squared um, plus A, a respect to B, okay? So this is what we're trying to solve for is what is A, the acceleration of A with respect to B. So let's move this to the other side. Now this is what direction was that in? That's in the J, the J hat direction, right? So this is a J hat, J hat. So when we move him to the other side, he's gonna just change the J hat, right? So we get this, negative 4,000 I hat minus, let's see, that's going to turn into a positive one. I'm putting it over there, so that's going to just leave me 50 J hat kilometers per hour squared equals A, A respect to B, right? And you might say, well, well, what is that? How do I do that? Well, that's this, right? That's negative 4,000 here and negative 50 there. And so simply... Take the square root of the squares, right? Where's my calculator? Calculator! Okay. And if I wanted to find like this little angle right here, call him angle theta, right? That angle is 4,000 divided by 50 equals, and then inverse tan of that, right? Answer equals Whoa. Oh, minus one. Let's see. Minus 90. I did that wrong. 0. 0.716 degrees. Okay. So that angle there is very small. And then how big is that? Well, you know what? It's 4,000 squared plus 50 squared square root, which is going to be just barely bigger than 4,000, right? If I calculate that. Uh, I got 4,000.31. So the acceleration is 4,000.31 um, kilometers per hour squared at an angle of 0.716 degrees. How about that? Pretty simple though, right? That's not too bad. Um, let's do another one. Let's do a, another kind of classic translating axis problem. I'll put that one up for you next.